Hello everyone, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Today's video is my October Mission Inspiration journal page and um, with the prompt, the prompt words are uh, words for inspiration are fall, warmth, thankful, blessed and harvest. Now I'm not using any of them words, for me fall is American for autumn we call fall autumn so that is going to be my word autumn um colors are burgundy okra and olive green uh, i haven't got them exact colors so i've got colors near enough to them and then i'll work through the prompts now i'm not going to use all of them um i'm just going to use i've worked in my my head what I want to use and that's what I'm going to do so um, I'm going to turn you to overhead and we'll make a start okay so for me I'm, I'm this is going to be my fall autumn page and um, I'm going with um, these are the colours as near as to what I've got and they are um, starlight metallic paints and I've got some book script, I've got uh, lots of uh, die cut leaves and um, and that so and I've got some nice leaf um, washi tape which are going to be for my border so the first thing I want to do is I want to um, put the book text down so uh, the not book text it's music paper so I'm just going to be um, adding that first and I'm going to be using my Mod Podge so let's get this um, done and uh, <coughs> so what I'm going to do is just quickly do this Um, and that um, I've not just saved my page because obviously I'm putting the boot text on uh, the music um, sheeting on and I'm not um, so while I get this done I'm going to uh, fast forward and play some music that done now we're going to give it a blast of the heat gun save them for another project <coughs> my other heat gun finally died so I'm using my new one what I'm going to do next is I'm going to give it um, a colour and I'm going to be using this green but I'm going to mix it with some um, gesso I don't want a lot just want to give it a bit of a colour wash Mix some gesso with it. 
I'm going to add a bit of water as well. Just to water it down a bit. And I'm just going to put it on. And then what I'm not going to do is then I'm going to get a baby wipe and I'm going to knock it right back. But I just want the colour down first. And one of the prompts is add small elements of sparkle or shine. Well, starlight is metallic, so it, that's where the, um, the sparkle will come. What I'm going to do now is knock this right back. I don't want it quite so dark. So can you see what I've done? Just to give it a bit more. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to dry this, I'm going to let this dry, I'm not going to throw this away, I'm going to leave this to dry and I'm going to use it in other projects, that'd be nice, so, so that's that done, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that to one side for now, and I've got these three leaves, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a mixture of the three colours and what's left in there to, to colour these. Autumn leaves, uh, I love autumn, I mean nature gives us such a gorgeous array of colours with the leaves um, when they're changing their colour. Oh, my finger's stuck, don't know why it's stuck. There we go, uh, just one more, To just want to add a bit more yellow to that and then I'm going to come in that was a canary yellow and this one is bright maroon So I'm getting the sparkle with the um, with the starlights. So as you can see, I've kept, I've not completely covered them because I, I quite like the bit of white coming through, and it'll make it pop. And I'm just going to add a bit of burgundy to this metallic. Whatever's left on the brushes, I can. use
There we go. So that is going to be my main focal. That's going to be my main focal image. And you can still see the metallic of the, the card that I die cut the, the leaf out with. Just wipe up my mess. And I'm not doing the prompts in any particular, you know, I'm not just following them. I'm doing it in any order that I want to. Um, so we'll do that. So um, it says um, include a frame or border of your choice. So right, I'm going to bring this back in. I've got my washi tape and I'm just going to dry. make sure this is dry. Okay, so I'm going to add this border now. And I'm only going to Here we go. I'll just make my way round the page. I've got quite a bit of washi tape. I very rarely use it, but it's it, it's um, quite good for journaling because. Uh, I should use it in my card making actually, but I never think to use it. I like my rib ribbon or my lace. There we go. And then what I'm going to do, another prompt is to say, it, it says, um, add stitches or staples. Well, I've got a little staple bunch, she says. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my staples to the four corners as a sort of decoration. But it also keeps the corners of the, um, the washi tape. There we go. So that's that prompt done. So let me just mark off what I've done. A pen. So I've, add, add, I've added music. Um, I'm not doing doodles or zentangles or scribbles. I've added staples. Um, I've included a frame. I've added the small element of sparkle, which is in the paint. Um, so all I've got to do, all I want to do next is add my focal image and I'm using um, Magi Bond and um, I'm hoping it'll come out and it's not, it's stuck because the lid come off. Let's just see if I can get it to, there we go, oops, 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 oops. Right, okay, so I'm going to add that one there. So I'm just going to add some glue to it. There we go. I'm going to add that like that. <coughs> I'm using my, um, my little tip. And again, using a, a paper towel just to so you don't get fingerprints on everything. And just add the leaves.
The nice thing about the Magic Bond is it dries clear. So, so I've got a leaf, leaves popping down. And the last one we'll have there. Next thing I want to do is add, so, add some, um, one of the texts is add stamp with ink or paint and I'm going to stamp with um, I'm going to stamp with the, the archival distress ink um, in ground espresso there we go and I'm just going to stamp these little acorns around the page There we go. And the final thing I want to do is I want to uh, have included so that is add a phrase, quote, or journaling. And what I'm going to do is, um, and it says by hand. So using my food bowl, um, I'm going to go autumn is a second spring when every leaf is a flower and that's what I'm going to write that here. I just need to date and sign it. And that's my interpretation of the prompts from the Mission Inspiration um, prompts set by Mike Deacon. Um, if you like your journaling, why not um, join us over on our Facebook group, Mission Inspiration. Um, thank you ever so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed. I've really enjoyed this. Autumn is my, not so much weather, but... Um, when you've got nice cold crispy days and um, you can go for a nice walk um, we usually go for a nice walk along the canal and um, it's lovely when you see all the uh, it's been frosty and you see all the um, the cobwebs um, and they look they look amazing and it's on uh, the crispy leaves underfoot so Less of me waffling. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. As I said, please join us over on our Mission Inspiration group on Facebook. Until next time, everybody. Happy crafting. Bye-bye for now.